Lemon Garden. Now today we're going to be doing all things tasty and baking. Now it's every woman's dream to be able to create fancy meals in their home. Why should you go to the local grocery store to buy a fancy meal for a very high price when you can do it on your own? I'm sure your family would totally appreciate that. Now today on the show we have none other than Dalsi from Case Cake Zimbabwe Confectionery to take us through how to create these fancy meals. Hello Dalsi and welcome to the show. Hi Val, how are you? I am so sorry, I've been looking at these fruits. Oh. I, just, I just really need to pick one. Fresh fruits, hey? it's mm. summer season, it's time for fruits. Something very exciting, something delicious and healthy. You always Definitely. need something that like that. That is so true. Yeah. So tell us, what are you baking for us today? Okay, so today we're going to be doing a mille fulle hay. It's a French dessert, uh, whereby they use puff pastry and custard. But I'm going to do a little twist on that one, my own twist. I'm going to be using some fresh cream and strawberries. So what exactly is a mille fulle? It sounds very fancy. Oh yeah, hey, it's a French dessert. It's really a lovely dessert, something you can have on a light day. Um, you can just have it with your family, you know, even if you like to have it for a little um, hors d'oeuvre, a snack before a meal. It's just one of those lovely French desserts that we have. So what ingredients do you need to have at home in order for you to create a Okay, dessert? so with this one I'm going to do a little cheat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use store-bought puff pastry, some fresh strawberries and uh, fresh cream. Alright, so now we take it away for us. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to take some store-bought puff pastry, a little bit of flour, and I'm gonna dust my surface a bit so that it does not stick. After that, I'm just gonna cut off a piece because we're not gonna be using the whole slice. So I'm just gonna be doing for maybe one or two people. Okay, so you take your rolling pin, dust it with a bit of flour so that it just does not stick when you're rolling out your puff pastry. So we want it to be uh, about three millimeters thick. So that's what we're looking for. Just turn it around as you go, so that it's even right round. And you just move this away, okay. So, when we've got about three millimeters of puff pastry, we're gonna cut into rectangles. I'm gonna use a sharp knife, same size, it through. So for each milli fully, you're going to need two pieces per person. So you need to take note of that when you're going to be serving it to your guests. What we need are two identical pieces. So I'm just going to lay this on top of this one to make sure that they're the same size. And then I'll just cut off the excess. And there we go. So when we have our two pieces, I'm just gonna slightly uh, dust my baking tin. And just flour it. We do this so that it does not stick when it's baking. So you could put a bit of oil or margarine, and then a bit of flour. I'm gonna put it down. So I'm going to put this in the oven for about 15 minutes at 200 degrees until it's golden brown. So in it goes for about 15 minutes at 200 degrees. There we go. So we wait for our 15 minutes. So it's about 15 minutes now. I'm just going to check my oven to see if it's done. So here we can see our two pieces that we put in the oven. They've shrunk a bit, which is okay. It means it's done. And then we can see a nice golden color. So now we're about to plate it. So we're just gonna let this cool. And after it has cooled for about an hour or so, we're just going to plate it now. We take one piece and lay it in a plate like that. And I'm just going to use a piping bag. And if you do not have one, you can use one for leftover milk and then just invert it. You can put your fresh cream in there with a spoon. I'm using a nozzle, so I'm just going to pipe onto my mealy fully. So we need some height when you're piping to give it that nice height there. Now I'm going to take my fresh strawberries and lay them on top. 
This is one perfect dessert for summer. You can use any berries that you like, but I know in Zimbabwe we mostly have strawberries. So you can put another layer of fresh cream, if you wish. And then I'm going to take the bottom piece, uh, the top piece, and place it directly on top. Just like that. Perfect. Perfect. Now that I've layered my mealy fully, I'm just going to take a bit of icing sugar and dust it just to give it a nice snow. Put two strawberries just to decorate. And there we have a beautiful summer dessert. How do you like it? I love it. It looks very, very great. Yes. Now, I mean, what are the ingredients, by the way, yeah. that create so, the So, remember, we used um, store bought puff pastry, mm -hmm. some fresh cream, which we whipped. And then um, we use some strawberries. Nice, summery, and light. Mm, mm. Like you want to so, taste, I mean, eh? I, I do, yeah, definitely. You should do that. Nice. So what we just do, you just get in. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You just get into you it. You just have to get in. Mm -hmm. What if you don't have a fork and knife? And you well, use well, you hands? can use your hands. Okay. We, we really encourage you to use your hands, and then you just mm -hmm. get every bite of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dig in. Dig in. You'll Thank love you. this. Okay. So what ingredients um, did you can you use? Ingredients? Yeah, yes. so you can substitute the fresh cream for some custard. Mm -hmm. And then if you're not a custard person, you can use some um, ice cream. Mm -hmm. It's a dessert really, so you have to do, play around with it. Mm -hmm. That's is the fun thing about doing your own things at home. You get to play around with what you like. So the only time, when can we have this one? Well, I would recommend it as a nice uh, summer dessert after a main meal especially on a day that you don't have a heavy meal mm -hmm. and then you just end it up with this because it's a bit heavier it's not something that you want to have after you've had a very heavy meal because of the puff pastry it's already heavy so when you've had a light meal and then you just want something to fill you up as a dessert that's a great 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 idea well this is very tasty i really like this really it's, it's doing justice to my taste buds nice. at the same time it's yep. a bit filling mm -hmm. so i can feel the filling element yep. part of it you're right and you're i really right. like the colors because mm -hmm. you know you eat with your eyes you do eh? so yeah so tell us what like tell us about your colors the ensemble of the colors. so what i did because fresh cream is mostly white i added a bit of um peach coloring yes. just to give it that vibrant color mm. and then together with the reds from the strawberries it just gives it that nice uh compliment mm -hmm. so yeah Great, I love this. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. So much, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Mm, this is so, so tasty. What I love about this mostly is that the dough gives me a sense of being full. At the same time, the fresh cream is not too sweet. So, because you know, sweet things at times they become a bit too much. So, this is healthy essentially. And the strawberries just add that little health element that you and I both need. So, stay tuned for the next segment because we're going to be baking croissants. Hello and welcome back to the second segment. We're still with Dulcie and this time she's going to be baking croissants for us. So you definitely can't wait. This is going to be mouth-watering. Okay, so Dulcie, what are we baking now? Okay, so now we're going to be doing another French specialty, a croissant. So this is basically a puff pastry. Mm -hmm. It has got variations to it. You can do a savory, whereby you can use some cheese. Or you can do it something sweet, where you can, uh, you'll be using like um, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is good because it's, it has got healthy properties. It's less sweeter than the normal chocolate. So it's something that you can really enjoy. You seem to love these French oh. dishes. You know it is that this is where uh, uh, all the culinary expertise began mm. and it has actually influenced the world's uh, culinary. So really the French have done us a great favor mm -hmm. and this is one of their greatest, greatest uh, contributions to the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. So, since we're going to be using store-bought pastry, we just need to dust our surfaces always so that it does not stick when you're rolling it out. Be generous with your flour. Cut a piece out of your pastry. So since you can see it's really thick, we need to flatten it out to about three millimeters again. So this time we need a square, a square shape. Just gonna do that and roll 
and turn it around. So one thing about the puff pastry and um, the croissant is that it has got many layers to it. So you need to make sure that it's really flat. So now I just need a square shape. Let me try and get a square here. It doesn't matter really if it's not as square as you'd like it to be. This is the best thing about home cooking. It has to have that raggedness, that authenticness of home cooking. So I need something like a square. Okay. I hope that's a square. <laughs> so now that we've got this piece, I'm going to cut it diagonally in half. So I have two triangles. I really need to make it up into a square. Okay. So diagonally in half. Ah, there we go. So as you can see, we've got those two edges that I have got the same size and then the top part. We're going to start to roll from the longest side. So what you need to do is to roll it. Roll it, roll it until we have one piece that comes by the center like this. So now that we've done the first piece, I'm going to do one variation of a sweet a croissant whereby we can take dark chocolate just grate it onto your croissant just be generous right and then when we've done that again from the longest side we're just going to be turning it it's actually just folding it rolling it until it reaches the edge this is what gives the layers to the croissant can you see that and then, because it's a croissant, it means a crescent, we have to turn it into a crescent, a semicircle. And now it's ready for the oven. So now we're going to take our baking tin, then just dust it with flour. After you've dusted it, you can take your croissants and put them in a tin like that. So now we're going to use an egg wash, which is just basically an egg with a bit of water and then you beat it and then you rub it onto your croissant to give it that nice golden color. Do it with the next one. So that's done. And then when you're finished doing this, you're going to put it into the oven, 200 degrees, mostly with all puff pastries, 200 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. So at 200 degrees, you set your timer for 15 minutes. Our croissants should be done now. Let's take them out of the oven. And there we go. We're just going to plate them. Two of our croissants and a piece of chocolate. And there we have it, our nice French pastry, the croissant. So Valerie, this is our croissant. It's a buttery, um, flaky French pastry. If you can just see that when we cut into it, mm -hmm. you can hear the crunch of that. Mm -hmm. hey? yeah. You can just hear the crunch. And then you can just see the flakiness of it. Mm -hmm. So this is one thing that the French love about their pastry. It's just something that melts in your mouth with a cup of coffee. Want to take a taste? Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's a bit hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's great for a nice cold day mm -hmm. when it's raining. So why would I why would I opt for a croissant and not bread? So you see, um, every day our kids carry bread to school, and sometimes we have bread every day for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just don't feel like having bread, and sometimes it's just good to have a change. And the puff pastry now gives you a nice pie-like taste. So if you're having breakfast, you can still have your, if you're having English breakfast, you can still have your eggs and your bacon. And then you oh yeah, so you see, like right now, uh, people are actually using this mm -hmm. for, for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then you cut it in half lengthwise, mm -hmm. and you put your filling. You can put, actually put your polonies and stuff. This oh. is why the plain croissant is a better option, because you can option. put it up, and then you put your, um, 
your filling, whatever you like. If you like an egg, if you're going to be having some um, avocado, mm -hmm. it's a great option, really. You is agree. it possible then to have the sweet croissant for dessert? Does yes. That, would that ever yes. work? It, it really does work because mm -hmm. you can actually do the same. Put some ice cream in between. Oh. That's a lovely dessert. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. So, yeah, that's, oh, that's very nice. <laughs> well, Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Oh, so there you have it. Um, this is our second segment. We're eating croissants. And um, so you just have your puff pastry and then you cut it up into triangles. Then voila, you have your croissant. Yep. Am I right? That's true. That's correct. That's very true. Yeah. Yep. So on to the third segment. But I'm feeling soulful right now, but I'm excited. And what do we have in our third segment? Exciting, exciting. Something again that we are going to be using a French pastry. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be doing something called palmas. Mm -hmm. These are fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the show. We're now in our third segment and uh, we're making palmas this time. Now palmas can be like a snack whilst mm -hmm. you're waiting to eat your main meal, uh, whilst you just, you just want to pick something. Confirm? You just want to pick something. Mm -hmm. It's something more like a biscuit. It's more like an hors d'oeuvre, something you can just have in between meals. You're waiting for your main meal and then you can just pick it up. You just pick it up. Yeah. So what are, what are hors d'oeuvres? You have to explain to the Oh viewers. yeah, so an yes. hors d'oeuvre is something that you can serve your guests when they come in and then you're still preparing the dinner table or the main meal. You can have a, a platter that just goes around and people pick up something. They're nice and small. They don't fill you up. They just give you um, an appetite to have your meal. To have your meal. Yep. Can, can, we, can we do these at weddings? We can this, do this okay. at weddings. You can do this for parties. You can just do this, put it in your cookie jar, just close it up. Then every time you, you feel hungry, uh, you want a snack, you can just pick it up. Because you know many times people go hungry. They do Because go they're waiting for the main meal and they're just sitting they're and just sitting. They're sitting, eh? I mean, yeah. So yeah, so it's one of those great uh, things because it's easy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just one ingredient, one or two ingredients which is um, like uh, puff pastry. Yeah. We've got our melted butter and a bit of brown sugar mm -hmm. to just give it a bit of um, taste. Okay. So um, it's, it's very simple indeed to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To make palmas, you're gonna need a 23 by 23 centimeter square. So I'm going to take my puff pastry, roll it up into a 23 by 23 centimeter square. So a bit of mathematics, but really all you need is a ruler. And if they are pieces, you can just layer them together like this. Dust our rolling pin so that it doesn't stick when we are rolling it out. 23 by 23. Just make it really thin, about three millimeters of thickness. With the palma, when you're working with your puff pastry, always about three millimeters of thickness. And make sure you've got the same thickness right round. So we need a 23 by 23 centimeter square. I'm going to measure this with a ruler. 23 centimeters by 23. Okay, that's about here. So just make sure you've got a nice neat 23 by 23 centimeter square. And when we're rolling this up, you're going to understand why we need it to be like that. Remove all the excess, put it aside. Now, I'm going to take this one, invert it, powder it so that it does not stick with some flour. There we go. So now, having done that, I'm going to take my brush with melted butter and just rub all the way through. And while I'm doing that, just going to make sure that I've covered all the edges and the corners because we need to fold it. I'm going to be using a bit of brown sugar. You could use some Damara sugar, the very dark brown one. Sprinkle it to just give a nice flavor. Not too much, so it's just to flavor. And then the butter is going to melt when you put it in the oven and the sugar. So don't worry about that. So now I'm going to take the two opposite edges and then fold them in inwards a bit. 
just like that. And then I'm going to repeat the process again. I take my butter, melted butter, just on the edge that we folded this time. And then sugar again, a sprinkling of sugar. It gives us a nice golden color again. Then you bring it to the needle. So now I've folded this part to the center. I'm going to take the opposite side and then fold it to slightly overlap the first fold. Slightly overlap it, just like that. As you can see, slightly overlap. Then we press the center. Just press it so that when it bakes, it does not pop up. And after that, I'm going to use my knife to cut some some pieces. So they really don't need to be big. These are hors d'oeuvres, remember. Although you, you can make them slightly bigger. Yep, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. We're going to take our baking tin, put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes again, about 190 degrees. So I'm just going to place this randomly on, onto the pan, to the baking pan that I've just lightly buttered and floured so that they don't stick. I'm just going to do this with the rest of them. And now, 200 degrees, I mean 190 degrees for about 20 minutes. I'm just going to take out our palmas from the oven. So there we have it. So as you can see, the center that we had folded has now popped up, gives us a nice lovely shape. And then we're going to plate this. So you can just give this to your guests or you can put it into a jar, close it up and you can have it as a snack every time you just get into the kitchen, you need a light snack. So Valerie, these are palmas. As you can see, they've got a nice, lovely shape. Again, it's an mm. interesting shape. Yeah, it is a, quite an interesting shape. I do not know how they came up with that one, mm -hmm. but I really love it. <laughs> how you came up with that one? Like oh, when yeah. you were cutting, how does, it, how does it form this shape? Okay, so what we did, remember, after we cut the 23 by 23 centimeter square, mm -hmm. we folded slightly the two edges, the opposite edges, mm -hmm. and then we buttered them again, mm -hmm. put some more sugar, mm -hmm. put a second fold, until they come together mm -hmm. on the center, and then you cut them into nice um, small pieces. Mm -hmm. So when they bake, they're gonna give you this it lovely like shape. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you, when you were, you were talking about the 23 by 23 centimeters, mm -hmm. the mats, the mats. You said it was gonna make sense to us. It is gonna make sense because now, mm -hmm. uh, when you make it a little bit smaller than the 23 by 23 centimeter, mm -hmm. when you fold it, yeah. it's you, you might just have something just like this. So All we right. need it to be about 23 by 23 to have okay. uh, something that. Um, you can actually, it's, it's, it's more than a bite size, eh? Mm -hmm. yeah. It is, mm -hmm. it is. So okay. At least you can have two or three bites from that. So, so why that, particularly 23? I'm sorry, I'm very um, nervous. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know you think you yeah. ran away from the math, but yeah, no. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> what if I do 24 or 25 or 20? Well, I think it, it, basically if you've got more than a 23, it's better because what okay. we need is something that when somebody gets, they can have one or two bites from. Mm -hmm. So if you make it less than the 23 now, mm -hmm. that's where the problem is because we just don't want a person to have one bite. They still want mm -hmm. crave for more. Mm -hmm. So just have, let them have so two or more bites. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Can I taste it? Oh yeah, sure. Thank you. So where can we, where can we eat these? Mm. These are a great snack. Mm -hmm. You can serve them to your guests as hors d'oeuvres, like we said before. Just when they come in and they're waiting for the main meals, you can have them. Mm -hmm. And then again, you can have them with your tea, with a cup of tea, you can have them with your dessert, in your ice cream, 
if you're gonna have some custard you can just put that in mm -hmm. mm, it's very nice mm. Mm. I like these. There's a sweetness that I'm chasing. I there's like a, a sweetness lot. from the sugar. Mm. Mm -hmm. The sweetness from the sugar and the butter. Mm -hmm. Although it's been mellowed out by the puff pastry because the pastry does not have sugar in itself. Mm -hmm. So it mellows it out and then you have a nice balance between the sweet and the sugary. So like I'm saying, um, I like this because it's, it's relatable. Yep. I mean, these are things, ingredients that I, I have in my kitchen. You have in your kitchen. This is something that I can make. You can do. It's, it's not rocket science. Mm. Even the kids can make them. If you want a fun day with the kids in the mm. kitchen, just let them do this. Mm. Even though I found that the mini fillet and um, the, croissants the croissants were a bit easier to make than this one. <laughs> I think this one, the 23 by 23. No, don't be scared by the mess. It's mass. just <laughs> mass. 23 by 23 and that's okay. it. <laughs> that's about it. That's about well, it. Well, thank you so much. It was so nice being with Dalsi today and her showing us her baking tips and uh, these are things that every woman can incorporate in their kitchen I mean this is not something reserved for her only so um, I think after this you can go to your kitchen and you can definitely try out what we had to show you today definitely. so anyway till next week stay full bye bye home and garden